Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to get stuck into the SS again and remove all the suspension. First, I've got to make some room, take some of the stuff off it, it's become a storage, but before we do that, I'll show you guys what I've brought my wife. So here we have a 2008 Mercedes-Benz ML320. It's a turbo diesel version. So I upgraded this, well, I got this to upgrade my wife's car. So she has a bigger family car. A bit of luxury too. So with the BMW, I'm still gonna keep it. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. Drift car maybe, burnout car, who knows. Anyway guys, let's get back to the SS. Hey okay, guys, so with the stuff out of the way, I can get to the sides and work around the car. But first I'm gonna remove the rear bar and get the tail lights out. And then we'll get stuck into the suspension, getting the cradle out, um, everything. So I can get it all washed and prepped for the bed liner, oh, Raptor liner, sorry. So let's get stuck into it. So with the rear bar off, and if you guys are wondering what this is, uh, that was my dodgy fix for the exhaust because under the car here, that bracket snapped off and it was only held on by that one and it would be on an angle. So just to quickly fix it, I put this home electrical wire behind the tow bar and done it up tightly. Okay, so with the car jacked up and on stands, I'll start undoing all the bolts and get this diff and cradle and the fuel tank out. So I'll get you guys on time lapse and get stuck into it.
Son of a bitch. Hey guys, so with all the bolts out, I just got to pull the strut or the shock away and on this side, and then I'll drop the diff and it should come out. So I'll put you guys down and we'll get it out. Daddy. I got the boys helping too. There we go, guys, let's get this diff out. Damon, stay there. Move, please, Mason. Mm -hmm. Damon. We'll, we'll, we'll get it in a minute. Hang on. Okay. We're just going to get this stiff out. Okay, so now the diff is dropped. I made the mistake of and forgot to do the brake line, so I was still hanging on. So that's what was holding the front of the um, cradle, or the um, yeah, the front of the cradle up. So now it's completely free. I can drag it out. She's out, so now I can start pulling that apart and separate everything so we can get it all cleaned up and repainted. But I'll put this aside for now because I want to take the tank out. Ooh, I'm out of breath pulling that. Anyway guys, we'll get this tank out now. Hey guys, so we'll get this fuel filter undone and then we've got three straps we've got uh, I think it was 70 mil bolts up here we'll get them undone and then the tank should be dropped down and 
when I'm rebuilding this or putting it back together, I won't probably won't be using this tank because it's got scratches under it. I want one if I can find one, um, brand new. If not, I'll just clean up this one and make it look as new as possible. So we'll get this stuff undone and get the tank dropped. There you guys, so with the fuel tank finally out, I can start doing the rest of the stuff. Just the little stuff. So, we've got this, uh, this canister here, um, the fuel lines, I'll get that dropped out. Uh, the shocks, I'll get them out. And that's pretty much it, then I'll have the car jacked up higher so we can wash all under this and get it all ready for the Raptor liner anyway guys I'm gonna close the video here um, I will video doing the rest of the stuff but to me I just find it wouldn't be too interesting but if you guys want to see it let me know down in the, the comments and I'll add it into the next video anyway guys I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop till I wear the crown.